Carrie Girls a pretty good crowd. Is all right.
civil rights and the protection and safeguarding of our precious democracy here at home. And I believe that Senator Kerry honors these ideals. He has lived our history over the past 50 years, has informed an adult view of America and its people. He's had a, a life experience, and I think he understands that we as humans are not infallible. And as Senator Edwards said during the Democratic Convention, that struggle and heartbreak will always be with us, and that's why we need each other. That's why united we stand. That's why one nation indivisible aren't just slogans, but they need to remain guiding principles of our public policy. And you've, shown, you've, shown, you've shown starting as a young man by facing America's hard truths, both the good and the bad, that that's where we find a deeper patriotism, that's where we find a more complete view of who we are, that's where we find a more authentic experience as citizens. And that's where we find the power that is embedded only in truth to make our world a better and a safer place. Paul Wellstone. He said, the future is for the passionate and those that are willing to fight and work hard for it. Well, the future is now, and it's time to let your passions loose. Let's roll up our sleeves. That's why I'm here today to stand alongside Senator Kerry and to tell you that the country we carry in our hearts is waiting. And together we can move America towards her deepest ideals. And besides, we had a sax player in the house, we need a guitar player in the White House. No retreat, baby, no surrender. No way. 
treat me.